Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to talk about where did everybody go on the digital modes? I think you know the answer. I got a query from an Augie saying, why does my WSJTX work wonderfully on FT8, but it doesn't work on JT65? I hardly see anybody on the decoded signals list, yet on FT8 I get a whole bunch. Well, I'll show you the answer. We'll look at a couple pictures here. This first picture shows um, WSJTX set to JT65. Now you'll notice down here at the bottom that the 14076 is the frequency it's tuned to and the band goes from there up to 14079. Um, and uh, as you can see, from about the 800 uh, hertz mark on up, there really aren't any signals. Look at the little red bracket at the top in the middle. Uh, that's how wide the signal would be. There are some stray signals in there, but none of them are JT65. So the, and, and look what I've got in my uh, band activity box. Nothing. That's because... There's nothing wrong with my setup or my uh, WSJTX. It's just there's nobody on uh, JT65. The reason for that is because it takes JT65 takes an entire minute to send information and then another minute to receive. Uh, now, what's on the left over there from zero up to about 800 uh, hertz is actually spillover from the FT8 band. So this next picture that we're going to go to is FT8. Okay, here's FT8. It's going like crazy, as you can see, from about 200 hertz all the way up to about 2800 hertz. It's just packed. This is 20 meters. It's just absolutely packed with uh, FT8 signals. This is where the action is. Um, now you might, if I were you, if you see this much activity on 20 meters, check out 17 meters, then 15, then 12, and then 10, maybe even six uh, will have a lot of uh, activity on it. Uh, this particular uh, box here shows a uh, QSO that I had uh, with KB9JHU on FT8. I had a few others too. It's just so easy to pick up contacts on this. FT4 is newer than FT8 and it's even faster. It's even faster and you just zip back and forth uh, between signals. And I had two or three QSOs uh, while I was uh, exploring FT4. It's my first time to explore FT4. And notice the band there. It's at 14080. I was a little surprised by that because 14080 is, has traditionally been considered a RIDI frequency. Uh, but you don't see very much RIDI activity except during contests. And then you see a lot of it. Uh, but a normal day to day for rag chewing and so on, you hardly ever see RIDI. If you look over by the, um, under the 2500 mark there at the very top on the right, the 2500 mark, I believe that is a ready signal right there. Uh, the tones are about 170 hertz apart and both of those tones belong to the same signal. It's on one tone or the other. The ones in the middle there are FT4 signals. I was able to get um, a few QSOs, but it was three or four people who were just sitting on the band there. Why would this be? Why, if FT4 is a newer mode and has some advantages in terms of speed, why isn't it being used? Well, here's why. JT65, from its start, when it first came out, was popular 
because you could get QSOs with very weak signals. But one of the common frustrations with it was how long a QSO took, six or eight minutes, just to get the minimum QSO done. And so um, the uh, Joe and his friends, Joe Taylor and his friends, uh, came up with this new mode of uh, FT8 that took only 15 seconds per round, so it was four times as fast. Well, you hit the sweet spot. People love it. FT8 is good enough, and it has lots of users, and the old network theory is that the more people that are on a network, the more valuable it becomes. And so people abandoned JT65 and droves and hit FT8, and the growing popularity of FT8 just convinced more people to converge on it. Well, enter G FT4. It's a demonstrably better mode, it's much faster, and so on. Why haven't people migrated to it? The answer is simply that FT8 is good enough. Okay, it's good enough. People are not motivated to change because FT8 is good enough. And it's crazy. It's like VHS versus beta. Beta was technically superior, but they were late to market, and VHS was good enough. And so you didn't see a massive migration to beta. And it's the same here. Now, just to be sure, I went and looked at PSK31, and let me show you what I found. Okay, this is a screenshot of FL Digi. I had to set it up again on my computer um, uh, because it's been so long since I've been on it. But look down in the bottom. I remember when PSK31 first came out, the bottom waterfall was full, wall to wall, full, just like FT8 is now. And so, what happened to this? Well, PSK31 is a fair amount of work. You've got to set up your macros. You've got to do this, that, and the other. Uh, it's designed for conversational communications, but a lot of people just use macros. And uh, when they ran out of macros, they stopped sending and sent a 73. I still think it's a great mode because it's a conversational mode. Just like RIDI is a conversational mode. But uh, people have pretty much abandoned PSK31. It is no longer the most popular mode. In fact, it's hardly ever used. I was able to eke out one QSO with KC3FL in Inverness, Florida. And um, that was it. That was it. This is, I mean, there are still people on PSK31 but not very many. That's because PSK31 is a third generation digital mode. The fourth generation digital modes, which are FT8, JT69, FT4, and so on, are largely automatic and can get much, much better uh, signals. They have forward error correcting and so on, which PSK31 does not have. But people have moved to FT8. That is where the action undeniably is right now. And with the sunspots improving, you're going to see a lot of people move FT8 on up into the 15, 12, 10 meter, and even six meter bands. And you can get quite a bit of activity there now. But 20 meters is the watering hole and will stay that way for a long time. Is there FT8 on 40 meters? Yes, some. Is their FT8 on 80 meters, which would be way down at uh, 35.70? The answer is mm, a little. Uh, 20 meters is where it's at. There is some on 30 meters. There's some on every amateur band. So I guess what I would say is if you really want to be active on one of the digital modes and see if you can't get really far away stations, try FT8 on the higher bands. Uh, 15, uh, 12, 10, things like that. See what you can do and let me know how you do. So uh, tell me what you think of this in the comments. I'm looking forward to reading the comments. Uh, that's it for this video. Uh, please subscribe and please check like. Also, 
please check uh, decastler.com slash support for different ways that you can help fund this channel. And until we next meet, 73.